leading the attack on his 30th birthday. Calvert was personally responsible for the deaths of dozens of Japanese, earning the nickname that stuck for the rest of his career, Mad Mike. Calvert was the epitome of the fighting soldier, and uh, he sought out battle. Um, some people have described him as bloodthirsty. Whilst Calvert's mission was completed, Ferguson was moving in on the railway further up the track. North of Nanking, there was Ferguson's column, and his, his plan was to blow up a bridge, but also to make a huge explosion where the railway went along at the bottom of a cliff. And they reckoned that if they could blow up the cliff sufficiently, it would make a major stop to the railway for a long time to come. And, uh, well, in actual fact, that that attack was a complete success. The Japanese were now alerted to the Chindit's whereabouts and were desperate for revenge. We were ambushed and the Japanese were howling about in the jungle. Tommy, Tommy! Uh, they had the battalion fool uh, screaming his head off to try and make us stand up and uh, get shot. Overwhelmed by the Japanese, the Chindits were forced to retreat as casualties were mounting. We were told right from the start, before we went in, that there would be no possibility of getting the wounded out. Their officers certainly knew that um, if a man couldn't march for whatever reason, um, a battle wound or sickness, he would be left. And that was every Chindit's worst fear. 